You know, today's special is really special because I am at Maui 30 Tortilla, say it, man, say it. Maui Tortilleria. Yes, and I am with Will <laughs> Avalar and his dad Carlos. And you know, this is the thing. What is so wonderful about New Orleans food, it's always fresh. Yes. Executive chef over at Merrill. Yes, sir. Fed me many a times. Yes, sir. But now we're here with the man that taught you what you know. <laughs> Everything I know. Everything you know. What makes a good tortilla? Well, you have to start with the very beautiful ingredients, natural, they have to be original, and mostly they have to be fresh. Uh, we try to have the tortillas made with a mixture that is our own formula, of course, and uh, uh, we start from scratch. We use filtered water. Everything that we use is natural. Uh, we try to keep healthy because we like to eat here in New Orleans, so we are concerned about cholesterol, so this is cholesterol free. Uh, uh, no preservatives in these tortillas. We try to make them every day. And, and you make them with corn, right? This is corn, exactly. They are corn tortillas. And uh, the, this fills a niche over here in New Orleans because we have a growing Hispanic community and they love tortillas, you know that. And they have to buy them over the counter and sometimes they're very old but they don't know how long they are. Well, you know, you see them in the grocery store all the time. Mm -hmm. And you know, being the gringo here <laughs> that can't pronounce it, I can eat them. So, but I can appreciate what it takes to make it work well. And you know, like we were talking, yep. where when you go to that bakery, yep. and that fresh bread. Mm -hmm. You could smell it walking up to the bakery. And then it, it's, it's the same feeling that you get when you are going to like a bakery where you go buy a fresh baguette or a fresh loaf of Leidenheimer po' boy bread. And, and it's, it's just, it reminds me of when I was growing up. Like being able to go to the grocery store or to the bakery itself and just buying a loaf of bread, smelling it all the way home, and then when you get home, taking that first piece off and just it, it that's the feeling I get when I get when I walk into Maui and, and it, it reminds me of just that bakery feeling, you know. Now, did you learn this from your grandmother how to make tortillas? Well, you know, in my family that is a tradition. My grandmother used to feed uh, most of the people in our country, we used to uh, live across from a bus depot, and they used to come to, uh, to my little, uh, I was, they call it comedor in our country, which is just a, a plain restaurant, and uh, she used to feed everybody. So I love to watch my grandmother cook. And just please, just tell us one time, what does Maui mean? You know, Maui is a dialect from the Mayan uh, uh, culture, which means to feed or abundance. So next time you see me, y'all can just call me Maui, and that'll work. Well, that would work for us too, Mr. Well, gentlemen, Maui. For keeping, for keeping things in New Orleans growing and prospering, and keeping the food fresh. Thank you very to much. Maui, to Maui, tortilla. To Maui, salute. This is today's special. I'm Chef Kevin Belton, WWL. Salute. Salute. salute.